It's going to be a big day today for Star Wars fans. The grand opening of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, generating major buzz. Travel Zoo senior editor got an inside peek, and we are jealous before everyone else. Check this out. Hey, Will, and uh, greetings from the planet of Batu. You know, what is the largest expansion ever at any Disney park is also the most technologically advanced, and I think it's safe to say probably the most anticipated ever. In fact, if you're a fan, this place does not disappoint. On a remote planet in a galaxy far, far away, this is Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. The Millennium Falcon, that famous starship that made its debut in the original Star Wars film back in 1977, the fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy. It's the main draw at the new Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, once manned by Han Solo and his Wookiee warrior friend Chewbacca. Now you're at the controls. Guests take on one of three possible positions aboard Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, Pilot, Gunner, or Engineer, as the Resistance takes on the First Order in a high-tech battle of intergalactic proportions. Of course, the experience continues outdoors and throughout this new land at the Disneyland Resort in Southern California. At 14 acres, the biggest Disney park expansion ever. Suddenly, you've landed on the planet of Batu, an outpost on the galaxy's outer rim where adventurers and smugglers mingle and where the sights and sounds, a landscape outfitted with petrified trees and more than 7,000 props, pay tribute to the Star Wars franchise with remarkable authenticity and in stunning immersive detail. A testament to a joint effort by Disney. Disney Imagineers and the storytellers at Lucasfilm. We're here really with eyes for those fans that have those same eyes as us that are going to be here and take in every little detail and you know look for those little nuggets, little Easter eggs that you know the, the more casual fan probably wouldn't even notice, but it's gonna mean the world to those fans. Stroll through the marketplace and nab brand new Star Wars inspired Disney merchandise, create your own lightsaber at Savi's workshop, and build a droid at the droid depot. You pick the parts, you put them together, and you take your remote controlled droid home. And when hunger strikes back, savor the 50 plus new menu items like the pork and sausage Ronto wrap and the exotic blue milk. We're also part of the story. Uh, you have to immerse yourself into the food experience also. Uh, guests want to feel like it's all connected. And I know you have a droid making these. How long does it take to train a droid to, to roast a Ronto? Easy to train, hard to stop working. There is more intergalactic fun to come, by the way. A second interactive ride, Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, is set to open here by year's end. And of course, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opens up at Disney World in Orlando, Florida, August 29th. I'll see you there. Guys, back to you. He said he'll see you there? I hope so. I was watching you just watch that. Oh, you yes. were loving it. <laughs> he didn't say a word. No, he's <laughs> no, staring at it. I am really excited about it. I do want to go to the one in Dis Disney World. Awesome. But it does look awesome. I mean, anybody who's been a fan for, for a long time, I think just going there and seeing it will be very cool. Plus, I mean, it's Disney. When Disney does right. anything, if they take on a, a certain land or mm -hmm. a world, you feel immersed right. in it when yeah. they when they did um, even just fantasy land uh -huh. over and you felt like you were in the storybooks of, of some yeah. of these and movies. i like the way the guy from uh from lucasfilm said they they tried to leave no stone unturned right. you yeah. know so that the true fans there'll be yeah. something there something that, there for everybody yeah. they would nip it they, they would they'll they would know. point it out they've got it covered just so everybody knows reservations are required for visits to galaxy's edge same thing's going to happen in disney world through june 23rd and then it's open for everybody and okay. gabe has got exclusive discounted passes to disney yeah. Land that you can check out at travelzoo.com. We love